I worked with um, the organisers um, a couple of years ago on an a outdoor and digital project. So they invited me um, to speak on um, one of their um, panels today. And I had a really, um, I had a really fulfilling time actually. I, I didn't really um, know who I was going to uh, meet and find here. But I've spoken with um, people that are, uh, run arts organisations and I've also um, had really good um, conversations with students that are the next generation coming through and, and gamers and um, digital producers and artists so it's been really um, and also funders as well so it's been a really good mix of people I, I've had so many conversations I'm quite exhausted saturated by the input I've got today yeah and it was really interactive the um, style of the dynamics. event and I like that but that's also a bit of many many conferences this is the best one I've been to but it was tiring <laughs> mentally the silent disco is fantastic and I also really enjoyed um, the way that they did the questions you know like because seeing other people here today that have the same interest you was really nice and actually seeing that done physically was really fun yeah it was it was really playful I have absolutely no idea what my next project is but it, I can be absolutely certain that it will emerge and it will and it's probably bound to be um, an outdoor uh, digital project because that's my passion yeah. Yeah. well do you know what I'm, I'm not really a big I don't really use social media that much personally but I do have a Facebook and I do Twitter and um, actually no, that's the next thing I'm going to do the next thing I'm going to do is um, go on um, upgrade my social media skills I think it's yeah a friend said to me the other day about um, creating a digital identity and I've always worked with artists that work with social media and digital but I've never really done it personally so maybe I'll give it a go no it'll be written large of course that's what that's what digital does it enables <laughs> us to recreate and redefine ourselves in the in the image it's the moving image and yeah? it will be an evolving image and, uh, <laughs> Twitter you can just put out an opinion or you can put out a piece of information I find Twitter like really like action media you know like better alternative to the news whereas Facebook something else yeah Facebook something else but I do think whether people are aware that public spaces are private is one thing um, I think that actually the fact that public spaces can be creative, you know, creative cultures um, is, is another thing. And I think it's raised the bar really. I think the Olympics raised the bar for what can happen in public space. And I, uh, I look forward to when they become environments where we can create cultures, not just put products and services into them. That would be good. So my name's Debbie, um, Debbie Landon. I'm uninstitutionalised, fully.